Yes, sir, it is your boy KB, the boss from Shifter at magazine.com. And I'm here with uh, one of the rising stars in the GTA uh, who, yeah, he's been making some noise over the course of his, 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 uh, his career. Uh, been very active uh, as late. I see you've been doing a lot of shows just all over Canada. And it's uh, my pri- privilege to, uh, to have a few minutes of your time. So thank you for, for joining me. Thank you for having me, brother. No problem. Now, um, yeah, we, we've, we've I've been hearing so much good things about you. We've interviewed uh, recently, recently, we, well, fairly recently, we interviewed uh, Swagger Wright, and we interviewed uh, Unimerse, and both of them had uh, good things to say about you uh, as as, a, as an artist. They had like they had, you know they're they're promoting you very well. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, that's what's up, man. They're good peoples, man. They're really good peoples. Definitely. Yeah. Now, first off, I, I see like I see you've been like active like with the shows like I've I kind of been following I see you were in you were in Calgary and then I seen you were in like Edmonton at the C- CEBL championships uh you're in Ottawa um now I think you're going out to Oceaga afterwards like I don't I, looking at kind of just you know I follow a lot of Canadian music I feel like you've been like one of the most active artists when it comes to shows just af- like once things have kind of opened up like what's kind of been your mindset when it comes to just because it feels like you've kind of been attacking the whole like festival circuit <laughs> and stuff like that like what's kind of been your mindset coming out of COVID when it comes to the shows just just go and kill man it's it's been a it's been a long time you know everybody's wanted shows I wanted to go back on stage so as soon as the opportunity is there I'm going to grab it and then, and then run with it you know what I mean mm-hmm. yeah why not do it so and I'm glad that I got the opportunity to and other Canadians as well also got the opportunity to you know go go and have the first shows uh, uh, since the pandemic, you know, so no, it does a great, it does, it does a great group for that, man. Yeah, and I, and I feel like you know, the, the, you know, the prior to, like, you know, Canadian art, artists haven't always been prioritized when it comes to like festivals and stuff like. So it, it is cool to see like all these festivals where the lineups are all Canadian, yeah, and people are still actually going out to actually check out the shows. Yeah. Um, have you kind of been see, like, feel, how, how have you been feeling about that just as a, as an artist? Uh, it feels great. Uh, the love is there. The love is real. It's a new era for music and 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 uh, you know for Canadian culture uh, when it comes down to music and, and the different genres that that we can give you. So I'm very like thankful to just be a part of this lineup, you know, of of really amazing talented Canadian artists that that could you know showcase their talents to, to all over Canada, not even just little little places, all over. So mm-hmm. it's just, I'm just grateful for it, brother. Mm-hmm. And and I've seen that even this, you know, I, I we we do a music video roundup every month at Shifter, and you know, you know, seeing you do, you know, just attacking kind of the, the shows and the festival circuit, you've kind of you've been very active, you know, even with the music videos. Like there were some months where you had like one video, two videos dropping in the same month, and we were we were having trouble kind of keeping up. We're like, man, these guys are dropping like all the time when it came to music videos. Like what? What, explain kind of the work ethic behind because it seems like you just when you get into this it seems like there's times where you get into a certain mode where you just like you just like go 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 even when it comes to just dropping visuals for your for your music yeah no it's yeah it's it's, it's usually like that just just go 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 as much visuals as, as possible i can give you you know as much music as possible everything you know i want to i want to fill it up you know i don't want to not give you know all uh quality and, and, and quantity of, of music, you know, and videos and, and things to go with that, shows and all that, you know, I, I put a lot of work in the background just to make sure I can give that to you, the whole mm-hmm. team does, you know, so yeah, it's just, it's just what I love to do, I love the mm-hmm. video, I love the shows, I love it all, you know. Yeah, yeah, and it, it seems like you, you know, when I spoke to Swagger, right, I was talking just about his, his versatility as an artist, and it seemed like you as well, like you're capable of doing a lot of different things, like musically, like, you know, you know, growing up, I mean, I assume you're from the Caribbean, you must be from the Caribbean or like, you know, grew up in a Caribbean home. Like, what, were you listening? Were you like listening to just different genres of music coming up, like maybe in the home or just even like, like, like exposed to just different forms of, of music? Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, mom's cleaning, she's cooking, whatever she's doing. The, 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 the reggae is reggae, playing on the record player. Reggae, you got a little dance hall, you got some R&B, she, she, she's running through it, you know. So I was I was always getting a taste of, of different music, you know like all the all types of jazz and stuff like that she was mm-hmm. into different types of music so i got a taste i had a good taste you know and a lot of other friends that are musicians they got the same kind of you know they were in the same kind of environment when it came out to music and they were able to you know be very flexible flexible like swagger you know shout out my brother swagger like you know like mm-hmm. when we're in the studio together we always going back and forth with different styles yeah yeah, yeah. i don't know if it's just a part of the culture now but i guess it is you know are, are there are there any songs on your like personal playlist that people would be surprised? Like you have like some Shania Twain happening on your playlist, or, like you know, say like from this moment, like you have any? Like, <laughs> I'm a, uh, uh, 
I usually when I, when I tell people I like Nickelback, they're like, why Nickelback? You know, but I like it. I don't know. It was, it was good for me. Them three days grace, some rock bands. You know, that was that was what I was into. So, mm -hmm. yeah. you, do you see yourself kind of venturing, like you know, do you see yourself kind of exploring though, like exploring that a little bit, maybe like in the future, like exploring some. You know, cause even now you, you know you have like the trippy reds and those guys that are kind of you know getting into the little rock you know rock bag like you kind of see yourself you know going there in the no, future. I, I've already I, I've definitely attempted to uh, uh, make you know that kind of style of music. You know, uh, it's just experiments at the moment. So you know, the more I keep experimenting with it, and then I'm ready with it, I'll definitely release it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Now let's let's switch a little bit because right now Toronto's having a big moment in music. Um, I just came from Manifesto two days ago, and just you know saw a bunch of like you know just up and coming Toronto artists. Um, you know, not just not just Toronto, but even just like Mississauga, Brampton, those kinds of those kinds of parts. Um, and Toronto's just really having a moment right now. Like, what do you think just about the attention that Toronto's getting right now when it comes to just music and in the music scene? Uh, I think I think it's a it's a beautiful thing for the artists. Um, you know, a lot of Americans are gravitating towards the sound, the music, the city itself, and a lot of artists are getting picked up. You know, it, it's a beautiful thing to see because it just never was before. So, I just you know applaud all around. You know, what I'm saying Toronto natives doing our thing mm -hmm. you know, all yeah. over. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful thing. It's brand new. So now I, I I've written an article in the past on our website about the amount of big talent that have come out of Brampton. Mm -hmm. Um, I I feel like Brampton out of all the GTA, like Brampton is producing some like some probably like the, I think maybe the most talent out of any part of the GTA. Like you have like NBA players, you have like Alessia Cara, you have the Director X, you have like all these people. Like what's what what's what's up with it in, even Tory Lanes? Like what's up in Brampton? Like, why is, why is Brampton producing so much talent? Like, oh, I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm, I'm, I grew up in Mississauga. So I'm like, but you know, I, 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 you know, you know, I, Brampton was never known as that place that produced so much talent, but I'm like, it, literally like so much of the talent out of the GTA is from, is from Brampton. Like, do you, do you like what's happening up out there that, that is producing so much talent? I don't know, man. Cause when I was growing up, I didn't see none of this. You know what I mm. mean? It was, it was very, it was very quiet. So, you know, after I, you know, started venturing into my career in music and seeing, oh, damn, there's other artists from Brampton, too. There's other celebrities that are doing their thing, Tristan Thompson and thing, you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. crazy, you know what I mean? So I was, I, I didn't even know that was going on until after the fact. So I can't even tell you. It's just something in... Some, something, something, something's, something's in the water. <laughs> something in the water, something in the flower city, man. Something's over there. I don't know what it is, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's let's talk about your show because obviously you're performing at uh, City Folk coming up soon. Uh, for people who've never seen you perform live, and I, I've seen I kind of I've seen the clips, I've seen the videos, but for people who've never seen you perform live, like what could people expect at a, at a Roy Woods show? A lot of emotion, a lot of raw emotion. I love to really be in tune with the songs and the, the people that I'm singing with. It doesn't matter if you know my music or not. I want to make sure that we're all just present in the moment. So. You're going to get all of me, you know, I'm going to dance. I'm going to just sing. I'm going to do a whole bunch. You know what I mean? So it's, 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 it's an experience. That's what I really like. To mm -hmm. Any like, so, so can you give us a, a, the idea of maybe like two or three songs that might be on the set list that people can kind of anticipate? Uh... <laughs> yeah. You know, um, and I'll always be dancing, you know, and I love the energy that I get, you know, so because everybody, they, they be, they be vibing with it too, you know? Mm -hmm. So there's certain moments that we get to have and share in that song. And I love performing that song. So yeah, I definitely can see that. Yeah. Now let's, I, actually, I sort of uh, back a little bit because I, I seen online that you do, you do a lot of cooking and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I see you do a lot of stuff. So what, what's your, what's your go-to? Like, what's your, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, what's your, what's your go-to dish as a, as a, a budding chef? A seafood thing. Man. Seafood? <laughs> Yeah, man. Any, anything seafood doesn't really matter. I venture. I love seafood. Anything. So if you're, so if you're, okay. So if you're cooking for like a, you know, a young lady, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna do a little seafood linguine type of thing. Yeah, yeah even that, you know, go fish, whatever you want to do, you know. All right, sounds good, man. Sounds good. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to um to seeing you seeing you perform um. You've been you've been at it you've been at it for a while. You've been like one of the probably most consistent artists that I've seen. Kind of just eat, not just in the GTA, but I think in Canada, you've been very consistent. You've been you've been at it. Um, you know what what keeps you like? Cause you you know even though you're young, you kind of been at it for a while. Like what keeps you like grinding? What keeps you motivated, pushing forward at this point in your 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 career? I love music, man. I can't run away from it. You know, I just love music so much. It's it's my life now. You know, this is what I really love to do. I haven't done anything else so. Music, this is it for me. You know, when mm -hmm. I said I, when I wanted to do this, I really wanted to do this. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's it. Every aspect of it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The business and everything. But this is what I love. 
All right. And last but not least, we, we like to end our interviews with a little bit of, of, of word association. So I'm going to name the, an artist. And I want you to say the first word that comes to mind when you hear this artist's name. First All right. The first, the first word that comes to mind when you hear this artist's name. All right. So we're going to do the first artist is Michael Jackson. What, what comes to mind when you hear the we hear Michael Jackson? Flashy. Sorry, what was that? Flashy. Flashy, flashy. All right. Uh, Drake. Damn. <laughs> I don't know. I said, damn, I don't know. <laughs> I okay. But well, um, I don't know. Damn, I don't even okay. know. All right. Swagger right. First word that comes to mind. Swags. Rockstar. Rockstar. All right. Last, last but not least, Nelly. Damn. You know, word for him either. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no cool. word for Oh, no. <laughs> that's cool too all right thank you thank you so much for your time and once again we just look forward to seeing you uh at city folk looking forward to see you tearing up this tearing up the stage and uh yeah we just we just wish you all the best uh not just this weekend but even beyond in your career wishing you all the best man thank you brother appreciate you having me.